Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Media Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Super Starcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Rodin' Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lima Cleese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring. And mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV channel 77. And now here's the host of the show live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there. This episodic YouTube channel vlog show is brought to you by your friendly neighborhood, Sweet Bumbling Buffalo Raver, meaning I've appeared on these four uh, StreamYard community podcasts created from my friends that I've met over the years on Discord. I'm talking about the Bumbling Bows Variety Program every Saturday night at 9 on the iBarbro Studios YouTube channel. Both on the sofas every Monday afternoon. At 5 p.m. on the Mr. Garrison 96 channel, but not today because they're doing, uh, they're preparing for episode 200 next week. And uh, on Mr. Garrison 96 channel, there'll be some, um, uh, the best of uh, Gare Bear, the, cl the clumsy potato. Uh, check that out. Five can't wait to see it. <laughs> I want to start laughing my socks off on that one. I'm one of the six panelists of the Rant and Raid podcast every Thursday night at 8 on the Brandon Martin YouTube channel. And I'm also one of of four panelists of the soon-to-be-returning um, Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. And uh, it will be on the Elite JCTV channel run by my um, by my by one of my newest friends, Mr. Joseph Kumia Jr., who will who will determine the, uh, the days and times when the podcast will come back on. Once he relays that information to me, I'll relay it to you. I'm also the five-time, five-time what? Five-time, can you dig it, sucker? You can't see me. Bumbling Bozos, Bozy Awards nominee for 2021. Will I be a nominee this year? I don't know for sure. My name is Eric Lima, though. This is my YouTube channel vlog show, Season 1. It was known as The People's Lima, a.k.a. TPL. Season 2, EML 77 TV. This is Season 3, WEML TV, Channel 77, Episode 1317. June the 28th, 2022, 1.25 p.m. Four more days till Capcom Fighting Collection. Yes! Let's get it on. And uh, I have decided to bring uh, bring an, uh, a thing for, for that. I brought it back down from my room because we're... we're I think we're almost near uh, preparation. We don't know when everything's going to start and when everything's going to end. But one thing's for sure, we are getting ready. And... Uh, now, we are getting ready, that's for sure. Uh, before we go on, before I talk about what happened on Slammiversary last night, I want to welcome two subscribers in. Jess Murphy and Dante Pittman, a longtime uh, friend of the show, but he hasn't, uh, I'm surprised he has not subscribed to me till now. I just, uh, so, welcome Jess and Dante. Jess, Mur Jess Murphy, Dante Pittman, welcome to the show. As you know, uh, now, as you mostly, uh, as you guys mostly know, I've been hyping up um, the new channel debut. In fact, I have not. The reason why I have not sent a link and everything else, yeah, I want to prepare that first. I want it because because of the deletting situation that's been happening, and because I'm moving up to a new room after the deletting situation. This is going to be a huge moment for uh, a, a huge moment basically for uh, me and my family, and this is a huge opportunity. And I saw some new things that I you know that I want um, wanted around the house. Some new furniture, so to speak, and let's just let's just say, for all intents and purposes, I personally cannot wait to do my new room because because it will give me the opportunity to reorganize, rearrange, and recalibrate, recalibrate. <laughs> Try to pronounce that last word. Eng like my like my uh, uh, former pastor, who was now an apostle, once said, the English language is all screwed up. Uh, everything. So I personally cannot wait 
tell. And you said, why'd you bring the Nintendo Switch box uh, back down? Because the fact that is uh, when I, because we're going to move into a temporary place while our house is getting de-leaded, and we won't be that far away. So that's why I brought the box back down. So just to let you guys know what is going on, what's happening here. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy to say the least. So, so are we ready for uh, what, uh, what happened last night on Slammiversary Impact? I decided to do that. I didn't do the picks and predictions, so I do apologize for that. Because of everything that's been going on, we don't know when, you know, I don't know if I was going to be able to watch it or not. So, so here we go. Um, there were two matches that happened at the countdown to Impact uh, Slammiversary. Uh, the digital, uh, the digital media, uh, championship was on the line. Rich Swan defending against Brian Myers, even though Myers has it in possession of it because Matt Cardona stole it from Rich Swan. But Brian Myers did end up losing the matchup. Rich Swan ended up retaining the title and got his physical property back. So Rich, Rich Swan is still your digital media champion. Now, the first battle royal, it started with 16 men. Now, the It'll, they'll brawl on the outside. The first eight men to go over, it's like a reverse battle where they have to go over the top rope to get inside the ring. So, the first eight men to do that will compete in a regular battle royal. And then the last two go in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So, it got down to Johnny Swinger and Shark Boy. And Shark Boy ends up winning the reverse battle royal. All right, now to the main card. It kicked off with the X Division title in the Ultimate X match. Ace Austin defending against Trey Miguel. Andrew Everett was filling in for Jack Evans because he was not medically cleared to compete. Kenny King, Alex Zane, and Speedball Mike Bailey. It was a heck of a matchup, but finally, Speedball Mike Bailey. I had a feeling that he was going to walk out the X Division champion. He did. So congratulations to Speedball Mike, the newly married Speedball Mike Bailey. He married a fellow wrestler and was also a color, um, color commentator. But she's not signed to Impact, but I've seen her fight at the Wellness City Festival back in 2013. Miss Veda Scott. And she's from, originally from Providence, Rhode Island, if I'm not mistaken. Scott Hudson makes his return as he interviews Team Impact about who their, uh, who their fourth, fifth man would be. And then Nick Alden said, well, when we saw the name of this guy, we knew he'd be the one. And so Scott Hudson's like, you going to tell us? No, nah, we're going to let everybody know. Well, and so Sting... Um, you know, it's like every organization has been involved in this, involved in, in well, actually not involved, but represented on Slammiversary. I'm um, staying um, from AEW, talking about his time on Impact. So, and he said some of the best, um, the best moments on Impact when when he was the Joker, staying and everything else. And it was a great tribute for uh, for Sting. Now, the Kent Knockouts Tag Team title on the line. The influence, that will be Tennille Dashwood and Madison Rain defending against Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie. And it was a heck of a fight. And But Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie are your new Impact Knockouts Tag Team Champions. So, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Kurt Angle on WWE and TNA Hall of Famer. He's a, he's a dual Hall of Famer. Talked about his time on Impact and what it meant. And some of the, uh, he talked, mentioned some of the wrestlers like he had shared a rivalry with. And it was really, really cool. But then uh, security let both Sammy Callahan and Moose out of their rooms when they had to be locked in with no food and water and everything else for 24 hours. Monsters, balls, Sammy Callahan and Moose let loose. They were let loose like crazy tigers in a cage. They were beating the crap out of each other. They were thumbtacks all over the place, pile drivers and whatnot. In the end, though, Sammy Callahan did end up winning the matchup. Then it's followed by the World Tag Team titles online. The Briscoes, Jay and Mark Briscoe, defending against the Good Brothers, members of the Bullet Club. That will be Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Heck of a fight that was. And then the Good Brothers ended up winning the tag team titles once again, beating the Briscoes. But then, America's Most Wanted arrived on the scene. James Storm and the Wildcat, Tennessee Cowboy James Storm, Wildcat Chris Harris showed up. James Storm goes, you know, we like you two guys, you two guys do one thing, drinking beer and fighting. So I figured we, they did the fighting, let's drink the beer. So they toast each other, it was great. It's a respect between the Good Brothers and Briscoes. Gotta like that part in the end, they, you know. And for AMW to come out and pay in tribute to the new tag teams as well. It is a lot of respect between the three teams. I hope they come back as, as permanently as a tag team in, in, in Impact Wrestling. Make very, make very interesting three-way dance, if that's the case. 
So, um, there's a tribute to Mike uh, Tanay and Don West. Um, Don West is fighting Lufama light right now, and there is a GoFundMe page on you go GoFundMe Don West. Find uh, find that and uh, uh, donate. That'll be really cool for the family, for Don West and his family. Christy Hemi made a can't come back, and she's still, she hasn't. The woman has that age. She looks great. And she introduced Scott the Moore, and then she came, he came out as Coach the Moore. I was like, yeah, there we go. What a crazy guy. And Scott the Moore joined Ray Wall and Hannafin on commentary. Honor No More came out. Eddie Edwards, uh, Mike Te uh, Eddie Edwards, PCO, Vincent, and the OGK. That would be Mike Taven, Mike Bennett, and Matt Taven. Oh, there's a beautiful young lady who's a big fan of Matt Taven. Her name is Courtney Jean. Very gorgeous young lady. In fact, the reason why I like Matt Taven is cool because he's from Massachusetts. And I had a picture with him um, during my day, um, during his time uh, time with Top Row Promotions, which is really super cool. He's a really super cool guy. Once you get to know him, I got, we got to interview him on Rant and Rave. Totally awesome dude. And but here, but here's the crazy part. Now going against the Impact Originals, those so mostly machine guns. That would be Chris Saban and Alex Shelley, Frankie Kazarian, Nick Aldis, and a partner to be named. But here's the crazy part. Uh, as Frankie Kazari came out, Tracy, um, Tracy Brooks and Earl Hebner was at ringside, and, and Tracy and Frankie Kazarian's son, Rebel. Tracy and Frankie Kazarian, a husband and wife, you know, greeting and all that was really cool. Earl Hebner, I'll tell you one thing, I, I applaud that man for coming. Uh, I know he's been going through a whole lot, and I think he believes that being around friends would help him much, and I think I'm glad that Earl Hebner was there. Um, he, as you know, his brother Dave Hedmer passed away, and also another ref, um, another what was fellow referees passed away. Tim White uh, passed away. Um, really, really, my heart, um, my, heart, my heartfelt condolences go to the families of both Dave Hedmer and Tim White, and friends of Tim White as well. Um, a lot of people. And Dixie Carter made her return to Summerversary to, in, to to talk about you know thanking the fans for twenty years. Also. To introduce the fifth member of Team Impact, uh, we all everybody was thinking EC3 would be the guy, right? Mm -mm. I think Impact Originals want to play those psychological mind games with Honor No More's leader. If you know what I mean, that's right. Davy Richards was the fifth man, and I'm like, ooh, this ought to be interesting. A little psychological mind games by Impact. Just remember, Davy Richards and Eddie Edwards were known as the American Wolves, former tag team champions of Ring of Honor and Impact, and they were longtime tag team partners. I say this guy said this ought to be good. This ought to be good. I said this ought to be good. I would not be surprised if Davy Richards makes keeps making more appearances on Impact. Just a few with Eddie Edwards. Watch, I think that's going to happen. This was the most insane match ever. This was one of the most insane matches. It was an awesome matchup. Brawls were all over the place. Everybody get involved. Maria Kanellis is back. She tried to get involved in the matchup. And then Tracy Brooks decided to get out of her seat and get at Maria. I'm like, at a girl. It's like, yeah, I had a feeling. You had a feeling with, with Maria Kanellis Bennett watching their backs of the Honor No More crew. You had a feeling that Frankie Kazarian's wife, Tracy Brooks, was going to get involved. She was the original knockout, Tracy Brooks was. And Tracy... And then, and then Earl Hebner um, got involved. I'm like, what's Earl Hebner doing? And Scott Demore goes, I got an, I ate some asleep. You know, Earl Hebner, his uh, son Brian was a uh, referee in that matchup. Then Brian gets knocked out. Earl Hebner steps in, takes off his uh, Impact Slammiversary t shirt. He's got a referee shirt on. I was like, brilliant. Scott Demore goes in. <laughs> One, two, three. And, and Team Impact wins the match. And then everybody's celebrating in the ring and all that. And, uh, and they were telling me, you know, Brian and Earl pointed up uh, at uh, Dave Hebner. I'm sure he was watching. And also Tim White. And I'm sure and that's probably one of the craziest things, man, to see is a great, you know, camaraderie and everything else. And every Impact was celebrating. And then Scott DeMoore's, I want to go celebrate. So it was a really great thing. Team, team Impact wins the matchup. Very good. On and no more. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're going to have to get back to the drawing board. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotta love it. It would be very interesting to see what would happen. Yeah, Kenny King got involved also. D'Lo Brown got involved hitting Kenny King with the sky high. And then hit him with a low down splash. It was great. Yeah, so Kenny King and D'Lo Brown. You knew those two boys were going to get 
We knew that Kenny King was getting involved. We knew D'Lo Brown. I'll tell you one thing. That was fun. Everybody was celebrating the ring. One of the most insane matches ever. One of the insane, most insane tag. You know, a lot of people, you know, uh, Courtney Jean, I have to agree with her that the Impact Originals versus On No More, that stole the show because everybody was into it. Everybody was getting involved. It was crazy. Besides the past, but it was just nuts, let me tell you. And then uh, a surprise appearance uh, via video screen. Uh, AJ Styles, who were, was, I found out the WWE allowed him. After, after all, the WWE allowed Mickey James to come back to be part of the Royal Rumble as Impact Knockouts champion, mind you. So, a, so they want to make the return the favor, and they say, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll let AJ Styles appear. AJ Styles talks about his time on Impact. He's in like to thank the WWE because they understand what it means to me. They understand. That's cool. The WWE let him do that. That's totally awesome. Mickey James came. Speaking of Mickey James, she came out as a special enforcer for the Queen of the Mountain matchup. Now, the Queen of the Mountain, like the King of the Mountain matchup, is very, very unique. Here's the deal. It is like a, like a battle royal, so to speak. The only difference is pinfalls. Can, pinfalls count. All right. No, no over the top ropes. No nothing. Pinfalls and submissions count only. And if you're pinned, you have to go into the penalty box for two minutes. While, and while whoever makes the pin is eligible to grab the title and climb the ladder and hook it on, and hook it on. The, on the uh, hanger there. If you do that, you win the matchup. That's how the King of the Mountain, this Queen of the Mountain matchup. Tasha Steeles defended against Deanna Perazzo, Chelsea Green, Jordan Grace, and Mia Yim. These ladies were brawling low place. Tasha Steeles was the first one to get pinned. And Jordan and, and I believe Jordan Grace was the first one to qualify. Then Chelsea Green uh, was pinned. And then as Mickey James made sure Chelsea Green went into the cage, Chelsea Green kicked the door, knocking Mickey James out. And um, but but th these ladies were fighting all over the place. And in the end, Jordan Grace was the one to grab the knockouts title and put it on on top, put it in the hanger. And now not only she's the first ever Queen of the Mountain, but she is the new knockouts champion for a second time. So congratulations to Jordan Grace. Totally awesome. And then Gia Miller um, introduced um, re reintroduced Goldilocks, who's been the interviewer. And then Goldilocks is not going to bring her in. I'm going to interview Gail Kim. Gail Kim was excited. She talked about uh, how great the Queen of the Mountain match was. Jordan Grace is the champion. And uh, it was a heck of a matchup. Um, she, so Gail Kim was pretty excited about that. The Impact World title on the line. Josh Alexander versus Eric Young of Violent by Design. This matchup was totally insane. It took three pile drivers. No, it took three pile drivers to beat Moose. Sammy, uh, that's Sammy Callahan. Did. But it took three pile drivers. It took, uh, I think, it, yeah, it took about three. Um, they were all over the place in the end. Josh Alexander kicked out of a pile driver against Eric Young. Yeah, I, excuse me, whoops. It, I forgot to say, the Monsters Ball match, it took three pile drivers for Sammy's in. Sammy, thing. Sammy Callahan to beat Moose. Woo! But in the uh, Impact World title matchup, however, it it took uh, took about many pile drivers of that to beat Eric Young. I mean, Josh Alexander decided to hit the C4 on Eric Young. One, two, three. Josh Alexander retains the title. It is great to see that. So, in the Slam anniversary was a great card overall. Great matchup. The matchup that stole the show was the Impact no no uh, Impact Originals versus Honor No More. That matchup was great, and you know Maria Canella says the Queen of the Mountain matchup stole the show too. So at least Maria is supportive of the fellow knockouts, you know, and I think it's pretty cool to see that. It's pretty cool to see that. So I, uh, you know, it's going to be really cool. Yeah, again, condolences and prayers to Dave Hebner and Tim White, uh, the families of both uh, both men. Who passed away? Legendary referees in their own right, especially in the WWE. So that is it. That's all the time we have on this show. On the next episode, we're gonna do contract money cards Monday. All right. So until then, peace and love draw in our lives and the blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ and Him above to me and to me to you all. Receive the blessings. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.